Now then YouTube, I'm the Softman, and welcome back to episode 3 of Clouds of Darkness with myself and uh, Bengal God. He is over there somewhere. Uh, yeah, yeah I am. Yes, I can see your name. I can see your name. So guys, we've done a lot in between episodes, uh, getting ready for this episode. Basically just getting all of the stuff that you've probably seen before on my channel if you've watched Sky Factory done and dusted so that you guys don't have to watch it all a second time. We've got a little bit of an area over there that's full of dirt and now grass. We've got some grass seeds from uh, sieving up uh, dirt. And we made a, a, a platform over there. We've got a ton of horses. Well, I say a ton. There's like three. You know. Bit, bit, you know, I'm exaggerating a little bit there. But oh no, there's four. There's four. Yeah, there's four. And a sheep, and also a pig. Um, other than that, Bengal God did the, or redid, the cobblestone generator. Somebody posted a comment on my last episode about doing a four-way cobble gen, and he put a, li a little gif in there as well, showing me how it was done. But this is a five-way cobble gen. Well, I'll say five-way, it's like all in one line, but it is. You can still vein mine it, and you still... I mean, sometimes it gets lost in the lava, but most of the time, in my experience with this, most of the time it does pop into your inventory. All five pieces as well, which surprises me. Which is good. Which is good. I and that will certainly help us before we get up to the automatic cobble generator that we're going to do at some stage. Honestly, the four-way cobble gen that was posted was really awesome, and I totally would have done that if I hadn't already made this before I saw it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's probably more effective than this setup, really. It may be. It may be. It may be. Um, also, what else have we done? What else have we done? Oh, yeah. Um, what I did is I did a load of, well, obviously, with the grass seeds over there, and I got myself a flint mattock, and I started right-clicking on the ground, and I quickly realized that we weren't getting any Pam's Harvest Craft seeds at all. So I went into the configs, and I had to change it so that you could right-click and, you know, grass and stuff like that, so it dropped Pam's Harvest Craft seeds, and now we can actually get Pam's Harvest Craft seeds, because you need them for a quest, which is this one right here. And uh, I was trying for ages to get some stuff. I mean, we've got plenty of other stuff, which is great. We've got some, we've got some chub. We've got some chub. How ledge is that? Comes some coffee beans. And uh, we've got loads of other stuff, which is also awesome. But we wanted Pam's Harvest Craft for this, uh, for this quest. Anyways, we've done a little bit uh, forward with some quests. Namely, the Oz Galore quest. We've now got eight broken iron ore, eight broken gold, eight broken aluminium and eight broken copper. And what intrigues me about this is that there is another page for the warp book called Dungeon. Oh my goodness. I mean, I don't know about you, but that sounds to me like it might lead to some death. Are you sure you read that right? Because <gasps> when I looked at it, I thought it said, bad idea. I just opened my reward bag. You will not believe what is inside there. What's inside there? A stone hoe. You're that, kidding. That is amazing. No, I'm, I am actually kidding. It's diamond seeds. How ledge is that? Diamond seeds diamond is awesome. Diamond seeds. That is amazing. I was going to put them inside the seed chest, but unfortunately we seem to have overgrown that seed chest, and I can't fit them in there, so I'm going to put them in this top chest over here. And at some stage, we might get some sort of uh, organization going with chests and stuff like that, but uh, for the moment, it's okay where it is. So I just got a really interesting reward for my reward bag. What's that? <laughs> 32 gift boxes. Wow. Now, somebody did actually say in my comments, be careful because some of them aren't actually good. It says luck equals zero because it's a default one, but some of them aren't good. So we may want a little bit of a platform going off into nothingness that we can safely, uh, a safe distance, open up gift boxes. And especially 32 of them, that might be well worth it. Go ahead and uh, let's gla let's grab some uh, cobblestone half slabs and do oh, that because oh. I accidentally I've... right clicked my warp book and I got taken over towards the dungeon. That's not good. Come back. I, I did come back, but unfortunately, I seem to have lost my page. I must grab that page again. Did you? It seems to have disappeared. It's not in your book? No, I used the page and I expected the page to go into the book. 
when I right clicked it, but it didn't. It just uh, didn't. <laughs> it disappeared, didn't go into my book, and I, I went to the dungeon, which looks very scary, I must admit, and uh, I immediately came back. All right, well, we got a way around this. Uh, what we can do is we can cheat. I would love to cheat, but I can't see it in any eye. Well, what we can do, and this should work fantastically, is uh, I can, you know, use my properly set up warp book that actually has the pages inside of it, <laughs> and I can I can use it to go there, and then once I'm there, I can teleport you to me. That would also work. That would work when it comes to actually going Using to my the magic dungeon. powers. Yeah. When it comes when it comes to actually going to the dungeon, that would be uh, pretty awesome. That would be, that would be pretty awesome. Mind you, it's best if that's not now because I'm scared. Yes, as am I. I think we definitely need to be a little bit more tooled up. I've got a stone sword, but I somehow get the feeling that that stone sword might not be enough. And also, I look like a tree rather than look like looking like a knight. So I would like to look like a knight before we go anywhere near that dungeon. Not like a tree. Of course, you especially look like a tree at night. Yes. If I stand here, I blend in. It's like camouflage, just a little bit blue. All you need I is some green tree. hair. That's it. That's it. Re I need to reskin my tech my uh, my skin to get me some uh, some green hair, and I'll blend in. No problems. Very punk rock. <laughs> yeah. So what else have we got to do then today? Let's have a look at the quests that we've got. Yes. Um, there is a castle of magic, but I think um, that was given in the protection always comes first. Castle of Magic page. Which is awesome, but we need loads of iron for that. And we don't have loads of iron. We've just got loads of broken uh, iron. Which won't be enough, I don't think. No, by the looks of things. It's not enough. We've got 17 broken iron ore. But we will need it to get some stuff like automated at some stage. Uh, rather soon. Rather soon. We do have... Let me just have a quick gander through all of this stuff. Cardboard. I did look at this last time. Cardboard. How do I make cardboard? With a slime ball, which we do have a slimy sapling, and I don't know if that actually drops the the type of slimes that we can use for that particular recipe, though. We can I make slime balls gems. just as soon as we get a uh, cow. A cow? We can? Yes. Yes. Uh, milk. Mixed with water in the uh, bucket oh, barrel. Oh, in the barrel, of course. Hey, it's a good job you already. I forget all this stuff. Well, what can I say? I'm a big fan of Skyblock, and I'm a big fan of Ex Nihilo. Yeah. Yeah. Or Ex Nihilo, or... Um, not a fan of my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, well, are we, are we all... Are we all? We've got. I looked into uh, another quest on survival at its fittest. We've apparently managed to get somewhere along the line. 64 gravel and 64 sand. That's at 100%. But we need 64 clay. Actual blocks of clay. Wow. That seems like a a big a, a big amount of clay there. Well, I mean, we can do that. We just need to put the dust in along with water in the barrels, don't we? And that will yep. get us the clay. Well, if you want to grab problems. the dust, I'll grab a bucket. Sure, I will grab the dust. There's a full stack we've got here as well. Somebody's yep. been busy. That wasn't me, by the way. That that was me. <laughs> oh, look at this! Look at how exciting this is. This is amazing, guys. If you don't see, if you don't hear me talking about this, I'll probably cut it out. <laughs> and I'll come back reasonable. and I'll be like, oh, 64 bars. All right, we did it. So, I'm going to cut back in here. <laughs> now then, way! We've got 64, right. 64 clay. Oh, so we can uh, claim a reward now of one of these reward bags, but it also gives us uh, the ability to craft a smeltery with all of this clay. I think we need 64 sand, which we have, which is good, uh, but we also need 64 gravel, which we'll get at some stage by uh, doing all that cobble and hammering all that up, which is not going to be a problem. So, give me that reward bag, please. Uh, no, you, you don't choose between them, you get them both. Oh, that's good then. Because the first reward I got was an oak sieve. 
Well, Woo. option one is a basic bag, and option two is a good bag, so... Oh, I got the good bag, and I got the sieve out of the good bag. <laughs> uh, I got a stick. <laughs> it's about as good as my uh, next reward, which was two oak saplings. I got another gift box. Oh, wow. Did you open any of them other ones? No, I made the platform, and then I stopped because I wanted to get the uh, things out of my inventory and uh, eat something because I'm there, hungry. There you go. I've chucked a lot of uh, stuff on the floor because I used a juicer on the apples that we had and the... Ah, um, uh, yes. The raspberry, the ras raspberry? raspberry stuff that we had. Right, whilst, whilst I'm here, let's go and... I shall peer from over here at you opening these boxes. From the safety of behind my brother, right here, this tree... <laughs> uh, glory. What I happened to the... look. Oh, I know what happened. I didn't make the chest because I got distracted. <laughs> uh. We have four chests in here. I didn't need to make a chest in the first place. Oh, yeah, yeah. we have made four chests. Have you seen that? There's a, a, a rogue cobweb that's just so yeah. happened to be underneath. The... Now, I was building that platform out, and uh, I can promise you I saw no spiders. No, anything. All I can think of was maybe one of those lava monsters spied me and was one of those slowing kind of lava monsters that shot a spider web at me, maybe. That's the only thing that I can think of as to how that got there, because I've got no idea otherwise. That's potentially possible, although I noticed something else that was strange that could be related. Mm -hmm. um, when I was putting out the fires from the lava monsters... <laughs> Yeah. That uh that, that actually got onto the island. I uh I noticed that when I was actually removing uh the water there were some places that looked normal but I could hear the sound of crackling. If I put a block near them, that block immediately caught fire. Oh. Okay. So it seems like there are some entities that may hang around invisibly until there's something for them to attach to. Ah, okay. Ah. Well, I'm just glad that none of them are about now, because those things were scary, especially when you looked at them. Yes. Go ahead and uh, right-click on that bed there real quick. I shall. Oh, is there a thingy in this? No. <laughs> That also works. Now, if you're wondering, guys, because in my chat there it came up, Bengal God set own mode to creative. <gasps> oh, they're cheating now. I'm not going to be watching them. They're cheating. No, we're not cheating. It was simply because he died and um, his warp book got lost. So he needed his warp book. And so he got his warp book back by cheating it in. That is exactly what happened. I have seven lives. I didn't even cheat myself an extra life yet. We've already cheated ourselves eight, and eight is enough. <laughs> yeah. Bengal God um, would have been off the server had we kept the original settings. <laughs> I was I was killed by lava monsters uh, while I was uh, fixing the cobble gen because because lava monsters. Yes, and they are very scary. They are very scary indeed. So I am watching from the safety of behind my brother. All right, number one, a uh, diamond shovel named the lost shovel. Ooh. The Lost Shovel. I wondered where that went. Uh, it's got Smite 3, Bane of Arthropods, Fire Aspect, Looting, and Unbreaking. Wow, that is one epic shovel, that is. I mean, you slap something with that, and it's going to know about it. Proper it slapping. Uh, it, it is a whopping shovel. It is. Uh, it is a proper whopping shovel. So I'm going to set that over here, so that I don't lose it. <laughs> so you don't lose it if you die. That would be uh, amazing. That that would be ideal, would be not losing it. Uh, let me just throw all of these valuable seeds in here, because uh, I, I'd just as soon not lose the... Let me go ahead and set my warp book in this chest over here. Oh, yeah, because if you lose that again, would it be forced to cheat again, and everyone would be like, oh, there'd be, there'd be hell on. There'd be rioting in the comments. Well, There's you know, it's... <laughs> all right, let's see here. Box number two. Oh, oh, oh what's that? It's, it's just a bunch of uh, it's a bunch of clay, and there was an emerald block on the end of that. Yes, but a bunch of stained clay fell down onto the location, followed by an emerald block. Because there were half slabs, it didn't stay. Oh, so it just went. And so, did you actually get all of them? Yes. In item form. Oh, that's good then. Yeah, here you that's can. That's good. 
you can you can have. Right, it's... I'm watching. All right. What the? Oh my gosh! I can't see. I can't see I from got, this far. Uh, four end portal uh, blocks. Ooh. Oh my <laughs> gosh! A million no! cheats named Cluck, and not a single one of them managed to land on the platform. <laughs> Sorry, they will join uh, Wa Wa Kowalski, whatever his name was. Kowalski, that's the one. The life and times of Kowalski. Right, next one. Oh. Oh my gosh. There was a couple of cats. There was a lot more. However, they are also joining Kowalski. Oh, I see. Well, there are two that are actually here. If you right click on them, they're probably tamed and will probably come with you. Come on, what are you doing? Oh, there, there's Cluck, and, oh, and his brother Cluck, and his brother Cluck, and also his brother Cluck. Um, they don't seem to be going anywhere. I think it might be you have to be you. I think they might only like you. He did move. He his bum up is is off the floor, so that's a good sign. Okay, so I can I can apparently only click on one of them because it's in the way of the oh, other. No! One. He's also joining club. Oh dear God! And was with Kyle with Skate. Oh no, he's there. He teleported back. Look at that. Magic cat. <laughs> Magic cat. That's what his name's gonna be. Oh no! Get him away from me again. Again, again with the bats named Flutterbug. My goodness. I mean, that is just. And me without him. a. Me without a little witchery dagger to collect all the uh, wool of bat. <laughs> oh yeah, true. That is a shame. Go. Okay. All right. I am ready. Oh my goodness! What who is oh. this? This is a bunch of villagers. They would be very useful to actually pick up if they actually acted like uh, villagers, though. How do we make safari nets? We why make would them with why would you slime. make safari nets? What you? They are definitely real villagers. Okay, so what we need is doors. We need doors kind of now. I will get doors. Here, if you could sneak up behind him and kind of, yeah. Go on, Brady, get in there, son. Good stuff. All right. There you go. I think awesome. I've got everything now. I think I've lit everything up. I think I you have seven. as well. I have seven. I uh, you got to get the roof. I did get the roof. Oh, you did get the roof. Well, I lovely. Did. I jumped up and uh, just quickly spanned two torches to cover the roof. This, uh, honestly, so far these these uh, gift boxes have been really interesting and really fun. Yeah. I have enjoyed the fact that they existed. I am as well. I am as well. I've never. Uh, I'm not one for lucky blocks, to be fair. And uh, I played Mad Pack once. But I'm not. I don't particularly like packs that just hell bent on killing me. And um, lucky blocks were in there, so I've never really had enough chance to play with them. But I know that some of them are really bad. <laughs> some of them are really bad. But these gift boxes, I think, I I would think that they're actually just all good. I would like to think that they're all good. Oh, what is this? Why? How did you get out? How on earth? Well, a gate is a door. They shouldn't be able to get out of gates, though. I think they've just jumped over the top. Eh, could be. Could be. Might as well just take the gate out and let them wander around however they like. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so. Have you got a good place to... to, to... I have. I have. Got a good vantage point here. Alright, so. Let's, uh... Back up a little bit so I'm ready to run, and... What the oh fuck? Oh my god, that is... Kill them. Those are imps. No, I think if you if you try to kill one of them, they don't, don't they try to kill you? Let's find out. Probably. Don't... Don't you... <laughs> I'm not that bad. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> we'll just let them uh, fall to their deaths. I'm pretty sure that they try to kill you if you try to kill them. Let me uh, try to influence things here. They give you leather, though. That's the only thing. and I, I, We really want leather. We can get leather from horses, though. Oh yeah, I suppose that is a point. I'm ready for some apple juice. 
All right, let's try this out here. See, uh, what else is in the mystery box? <laughs> <laughs> what else have we got to clean up after? Oh, private. Pri don't do what we Klaus K Kowalski did. I keep calling. I keep wanting him to call him Wachowski for some reason. All right. Well, I guess he can just hang out over there. Let's see what this is. <coughs> oh, a bunch Ooh. of stone tools. Okay. I Why not? That's semi-useful. Here, have a bunch of stone tools. Oh, thank you very much. And None of these are. Uh, they've got nothing special about them either. And a stick. Thank you. Oh, brilliant. Thank you. Private, you might get blown up at some stage. <laughs> Saving Private Ryan. Oh, what is that? Oh, That's no! a kobold. Whoa. So I'll... If you could... Yeah, there we go. There you go. It's a shame we don't get his drop, but then again, we're, all, we're, we're still alive. Uh, and there's Private. Oh, just useless. Useless private. So, ready? Okay, I am ready. So, oh, Rico. Okay. We're going to have our own army of, uh, army of penguins. So, Happy we've fate. got, uh, <laughs> we've got a private and we've got Rico. Is this Rico's Roughnecks? Are we, are we reenacting starship troopers with penguins? <laughs> Is that what's going on right now? It may be. Remember, service guarantees citizenship. <laughs> oh, oh, shit! Yes, I ran. <laughs> I'm sorry I ran that. It was a good job that the dirt one actually blew up first. Yes. Well, we've lost private, but Rico's still alive back there. Watch out, there's another creeper that didn't fall off. It's a miniature creeper, and that's why it didn't fall off. Where is it? It's behind and to the right. Okay. It keeps running underneath and then starting to suffocate because it's standing on a half slab and running back. I got it, I think. It certainly sounded like I got it. But look, free dirt. That is, you yes. know, it's like currency that at the moment. All right, so we ready oh. to do this? Oh, I don't know. I don't know now. It's a good job we didn't <laughs> open it in the middle of here. That was a good idea not to do that. Okay. <laughs> right. Actually, let me reorganize this so I've got my matic next to my... Uh... There we go. That's better. <clears throat> I'm ready. What the... F <laughs> <laughs> what in the... <laughs> what the heck is this? What it's in the... Villagers <laughs> riding b bats. Yes, they're, they're villagers... Like there are villagers riding bats, just <laughs> flying around. <laughs> I'm going to sleep really quickly. Well, you know, he's a grandfather. He's been at this for a while. He has. All he set? Has. I am all set. All right. Ooh. I don't trust it. It's not a trapped one. I can see by. I can tell by the front. Damn it, Matt. Oh, Grant, we've got two. We've got two villagers left. That's it. Okay, so this gift box. <laughs> Uh, th this chest contains uh, four gift boxes. Wow. <laughs> uh, three diamonds, three emeralds, two gold, a uh, golden apple, and five <laughs> iron ingots. Whoa, that is pretty epic. That is a good gift box, that. That is a good gift box. Yes, it is. I will look changed. <clears throat> oh my gosh, it's more... Oh, that can, yeah, they can go with the they can go with the other ones. Yes, more end portal blocks. Five of them this time. Oh, we'll end up going to the end soon. Well, no, actually, that's a, probably a bad idea since it's hardcore ex ender expansions in. <laughs> it would be an especially bad idea. Yes. Y yes, it would. All yes. right. So number okay. two of the four. Oh, there's another four. <laughs> now don't you start that again. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, paintbrush, 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 bread, spectre iron, obsidian, and redstone alloy. Redstone alloy? That's a good one. Spectre iron, what is this? What do you use spectre it's, iron for? It's from random things. I don't know what in the world you it is. You use it for... Um, 
A pretty awesome looking sword, I have to say. Eight attack damage and a durability of 1,700. That's pretty good. Um, you can make armor out of it as well, which I would suggest is a good armor by the looks of things. How do you make spectra iron like normally? Ectoplasm and iron. Go for it. I am now right. available. What the heck? Oh my gosh, it's a bunch of birds. Oh, well, they aren't going to kill us, so that's good. Oh, a bit of experience for you there as well. Yeah, I got I got frightened and I attacked them. <laughs> you got you got frightened and you slapped one of them in the face. <laughs> I uh I wasn't sure what was going on and so I was like <laughs> <laughs> just spam whack. That's a a good idea for things that, you know, if if something pops out, you don't know what it is, immediate reaction, kill it. Well, immediate reaction, back up, and kill it. <laughs> so, let's see number four of the four. Okay. Oh, what is, shit! What, what are they? Oh, shit, these are from Twilight Fo Forest. God damn it! No! I did kill them all, though. Thanks for that. I've got armor shards. Hello! Fancy seeing you there. Yep, well, that was, uh, that was unfortunate. That was a, a quick 17 more gift boxes, that. <laughs> that was a quick 17 gift boxes. It, it, that it was. Well, on the bright side, I had the forethought to not be carrying my warp book. Yes. Yes. I did uh, eventually kill them all, but by that time, you'd, you'd, they'd already killed you. Which yes. Is, they, uh, which was they, unfortunate. Uh, you know, I I thought I was prepared and I wasn't. <laughs> right, so um how much time have we got left? Which is not I a have... great deal. <laughs> um <laughs> a full episode of opening gift boxes were Which weren't too bad to be fair. I mean we've got we've got those two, which are the only two villagers left. Um and we got a ton of cool stuff, which is not bad. Uh, is I not did bad. forget something important. What's that? Oh no, here here here's a spare uh quest book. Oh yeah. Hey, uh, you can get one with a piece of string, I think, and a book. Yes, oh, but yeah, we don't book, have a book. The book is the hard part. We do have sugarcane seeds though now, I think. I'm pretty sure that I got someone on sieving. Yes. Sifting, not sieving. So, now that's done and out of the way, I think we should start working on automating stuffs. Yes. Automating stuffs. In the way, the first thing, of course, will be this cobblestone. I want to have a look, see if these transfer nodes actually work within this pack. Yeah, we've got some string up there. That's good. We've got loads of saplings, so you know what I'm going to do with all this over here? I'm going to go and put a we've got silkworm a in there. Okay, if you look in the bottom chest, we've got two more full stacks of string. Oh, maybe not then. <laughs> Oh yeah, so we do. <laughs> yeah, so we do. Cause so, how much lead do we have? Broken osmium. We got galactic crafting this. Let me have a look. Uh, um, I believe I believe osmium is not from galactic craft. Is it not? I was always used to it being from mechanism or galactic craft. Mechanism. Mechanism. Ah. Mechanism is what it's from. Really? Is, re oh man, we are going to have so much fun with that if mechanism actually is in here. Oh, it is. We are going to have. We can get five times our generation with that stuff, and, and the process is amazing. Yes, honestly, it is my favorite ore multiplication, just because it is the most complicated. Yeah, I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay, I am once again watching you do all the work. Do we need a chest? I'll get a chest. Uh, honestly, what we need is a barrel or some deep storage. A barrel? That's not a bad idea, that. It's not a barrel. Uh, it's not a barrel. It's not a bad idea. Um, wood, chest, slab. That's easy enough. We do have some spare chests somewhere. We did have. We don't have any more. Oh, no, we do. There's one there. Wood. Actual wood, please. There we go, and some slabs, which are up here. 
Okay, chest. Wood. Slabbage. There we go, better barrel. It's just the one though at the moment, but that'll be all right. So I do I want to put that where the torch is, yeah? Um, no, no, oh. just put it wherever. I was actually hoping that we could make a row of barrels here, just so we have way too much stone. But uh, no, just just put it, in, uh, put it. You know what? Fine, put it where the torch is. I was gonna say because we can we can put a big row of barrels like from here onwards. Yeah, just ruin my Come symmetry. I'll just. <laughs> Uh, also, we can take this off. This one. And this one. Yes. And then just have them going across the water at the back. Oops, that's the wrong one. Gonna need you to uh, stop breaking everything. Yeah, that. I need to. I need a water thing now. Yep. I'll sort well. that out. I do have, or I did have. I'll probably put it in a chest. So just you know what? Uh, the earth. So you know what's not going on right now? We need world interaction upgrades, do we? Uh, we might, because right now these transfer nodes are doing nothing. Okay. So, we need lapis. We have lapis. We already have lapis. That's good. Let me go and see what a world interaction upgrade costs again. Iron, iron pick. Iron pick, man, that is dash. Got some iron there. I got some iron there. One, two, three. Oh, we are one short. What are we? What are we short of? Iron. We are one short of iron. I'm just about to make only one shot, just as a. Because what we can do is we'll make one world interaction upgrade. Get that sorted. And then in between episodes, we can get more iron, get more world inter uh, more world interaction thingies, and uh, and then go from there. Because I've got enough, near en nearly enough to make it. Because we need an iron pick for each one, so I need. There we go. Right. Okay. Yeah, it's just the uh, the world interaction upgrade and then the stack upgrade. Right. Stack upgrade as well? Well, we don't need the stack upgrade. The stack upgrade is just the the most egregious thing we can do. Okay. Because I haven't said egregious yet today. <laughs> there we go. World interaction upgrade. The uh -oh. blood moon is apparently rising. That's I don't think that's a good thing. It doesn't sound like a good thing. No. Right. World interaction upgrade. Searching for inventories. And it's just put it... What? <laughs> did I put that in the wrong place? Oops, I've locked it to yes, it. Yes, yes, you did. Back. Give me that back. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't... Does it? Oh, shit. oh, hang on a minute. It goes in there, doesn't it? There we go. Right, done. Did it work? Yes, look at that. All right. That is good. That is good. Oh man, that is so much easier than. Uh... You know, I'm tired of typing in the console. Let me take some of this dadgum silk. <laughs> Make a dadgum bed before I forget. <laughs> there we go. Oh, look at this. This is fantastic. 109 cobblestone already. That's just from one world interaction upgrade. Well, I mean, that's w we only need the. Uh the other four and one more transfer node to uh, to have our setup running at its basic speed. Yep. <laughs> and basic speed seems fast by the looks ba of things. Yes, basic speed is very fast. Until we're trying to fill up en uh, deep storage, we don't really need more than that. Yep, that is true. Right, well, I think we best end the episode here. And then in between episodes, what we'll do is we'll um, get some more world interaction upgrades for the rest of these transfer nodes, if we really need them, because, I mean, we've got tons and tons of cobble now, just from one. Um, and we need to start getting stuff together so that when we come back next time, we've got uh, some materials to use to start automating sieving, to start automating, you know, the stuff uh, from there. So, yeah. I think that's uh, it's gone well today. Well, 
to a to a degree. <laughs> yeah, it it was going well, and then I died, and then it went well again. And then it went well again. Right. Yes. So anyway, guys, we're going to get off now, and uh, we're going to do the stuff that I just said, and we will come back next episode with, uh, which will probably be sometime after Christmas. I'm not sure when my episodes are going to be coming out over Christmas yet, um, but it will be after Christmas, I know. Uh, so until next time then, guys, I've been the top man. And I've been offensive. <laughs> Stay safe.